Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of our entertainment and celebrity juice right here at D3 TV. Now you already know it's premium vibes on premium vibes content on content at your doorstep every time on time. Welcome well, from Mr. Break, we'll dive right into our juice for today. Don't go anywhere. Hi there. Have you ever considered how to generate money online? Let me explain. When you work as an agent with Utify.Finance, you receive a discount on all services provided on our platform, which you can then resell to your clients at the full price. Consider the DSTV Compact Bundle. As an agent, you will receive a discount of 0.8% and you will have the option to tackle additional fees when reselling. Start making money right now with Utify.Finance. Welcome back you guys. Now starting off in this somehow sad note, a sad but inspiring life fulfilling note, Queen Elizabeth II is dead. Now she died at the age of 96. Now it is the end of a royal, royal era. Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history, has passed away at age 96. Now, she has ascended the throne at 25 and has reigned for a very long time and has dubbed the title the longest reigning monarch. Now, on September 8th, the official Twitter account belonging to the royal family confirmed the news writing the Queen died peacefully at Balmora this afternoon. The news comes out after Buckingham Palace issued a statement that the doctors were concerned with the Queen's health and recommended that she remain under medical supervision. While Her Majesty stayed busy with a variety of royal engagements even in her final years of life, some royal watchers grew concerned about her health after the Queen started using the cane, that is a walking stick, a walking aid, and you know was briefly hospitalized in October of 2021 with an undisclosed ailment. Now may she rest in peace, everybody here at Deepa TV is wishing the royal family comfort during these times. Princess of Africa, James Brown, has reacted over the death of British Queen Elizabeth II. Now, famous Corsica and internet sensation shared a video of himself where he fainted and was later rolling on the floor over the news of Queen Elizabeth's death. He captioned the post, My heart is bleeding. I can't believe the woman I look up to is gone. It's painful that the woman I look up to and admire, the woman of grace and principles, has left me in this wicked world. I'll deeply miss you, my godmother, Queen Elizabeth VIII. I think he meant the second. Thanks for the love and support and advising me. Well, the video was really funny, but I, I felt it was not called for because this is a, like, for a lot of people, it's a really serious issue. Like, the whole of the UK is literally mourning. Now, I think it's somehow sad how most of the Nigerians have turned this into some kind of funny cartoon crews and, you know, making memes and all of that. But, you know, we all hope that, you know, everybody is dealing with this in, with, the, with the right minds and everybody just moves on and we all welcome the, the new king. Charles, her son, who is 73. I hope he has a beautiful reign too, like she did. Now, moving on to one of our kings here in Nigeria, the only of the fair, Oba Adeyeye, Enito Ogunusi, or Jaja II, has concluded his plan to take another bride just days after welcoming his first wife, Miriam Anako. Now, the only officially welcomed his new wife into the palace on Wednesday, September the 7th, after the completion of their marital rite, and videos from the function went viral on social media. Now, it should be recalled that before now, the monarch had at different times parted away with two wives, and that is Olori Zainab and Olori Naomi, that's the prophetess, respectively. Well, we all know men, <laughs> especially kings of our time, have a lot of wives for a lot of reasons. Because I, I think I read somewhere where they said if he has one wife, that woman would want to, like, you know, contest with him for his position at all. So that is the reason why they have plenty, so that all they would concern about is buying for his attention, his affection, his love, and all of that. I don't know how that business came up about Bob. Okay. So into something more funny to spice up your mood. Ribola Niger level up housemates Chomzi became a trendy topic on Thursday night following her win at a tax. Now the reality star has been winning back to back for almost two weeks, which has raised eyebrows. Now since the matter of the first female house, head of house, the female reality star has been winning in all groups she has placed in. And what this means is every tax that they've done for the past two weeks since she became head of house, she has won. Like she and her team. Have won and this have left many angry especially when her group does not merit the win some people feel that they are like they didn't really do as much to have won uh, the tax now last night Chomsky's group which included co-housemates Adekunle, Eloswag and Hermes won the unique soap tax now her win generated social media reactions from people as they questioned if it was related to the show organizers while many were complaining fans of Chomsky tagged it has great personified you guys so that's all for the day. Don't call I'll be giving you the movies and the songs that you have to see and vibe to this weekend. Don't go anywhere. Hi there. Have you ever considered how to generate money online? Let me explain. When you work as an agent with Utify.Finance, you receive a discount on all services provided on our platform, which you can then resell to your clients at the full price. Consider the DSTV Compact Bundle. 
As an agent, you will receive a discount of 0.8% and you will have the option to tackle additional fees when we sell in. Start making money right now with Certified.Finance. Welcome back guys. So I forgot to mention here, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of leaders have been sending in their tributes to the family, the royal family. And like I said, this is a turning point in the history of the world in general because she did the Commonwealth, the UK is really, really invested in a lot of countries and you know, Good luck and happiness to everybody. Now for the movies that you have to see to like start up your mood and make you feel better about you know the sad times and the passing of the queen, we have Collision Cross. And this is a 2022 action thriller featuring Kelechi Idegbe and Daniel Edson F. Young. I hope I pronounced that well. A millions and emotional focus on social issues and drama. This is a film about a law enforcement officer who tries to make ends meet by soliciting bribes. Wow. But a tense one in with a wealthy young musician changes his life forever. It's on Netflix, don't stress you guys, just go and enjoy the movie. For our foreign team, we have Love in the Villa. Yeah, I said Love in the Villa. Julie's dream trip totally turns star-crossed when she discovers her rented villa is already occupied by an annoying, attractive stranger. Why are these annoying and attractive in the same sentence, you guys? <laughs> now, I have you guys know that she was done by her boyfriend right before the trip. I know this is a romantic comedy, this is moonworthy, this is charming, this is love, this is, you know, all of those things. You guys should enjoy it. Both are on Netflix, don't stress, just go on Netflix and type the name of the movie and the pop out and enjoy. Now for the song number five, we have Rema featuring to Nina Gomez with Calm Down with Mix. And they just dropped the video and it is a banger. My colleague does not really like the song, she feels like she should have not really done it, but I think it's nice, I think the tune is, it's okay, it's okay. Number four, we have Adekule Go with five. Star. Number three, we have Asha Kerr with Mr. Money the Bible. Oh, now this is the album, yeah? All of the hits from Peace Beyond to You to um, Terminator to um, Sumba Remix, everything is in this album and it's lit. He titled the album Mr. Money with the Bible, <laughs> as we already know you guys. So just go out and enjoy it. Number two, we have Bayani, the new signee of Marvin Records with Buddy. And number one, we have Phil featuring the video with Electricity. Ele hmm. yeah. I'm a single, you know, right? Sign me, sign me. <laughs> and that's all for this episode, my friends. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Turn on your post notifications. Follow us on all social media platforms. Comment. Let us know how you're feeling the show. If there are some things we should change and things that we should not change or things that we should continue doing. If there's a way you want me to be stressing, if there's a way, you know, just let me know in the comment section, you guys. So I'll come away next time. I still remain irritated. Bye.